Hello students, good morning, how are you? Pratik sir is back again with yet another video, the second video of English literature. We are dealing with the first chapter named Attila, which is the story of a dog which has got rather strange uh, physical features of a very big head. As you can see, the body is small and the head is so big. He has got a pug-like nose, red eyes. Of course, here the eyes of my dog is black, but Attila had red eyes and square jaw. That this is a jaw, so that's a it had a square jaw. Okay, so this dog was actually adopted or bought by a family which had a mother and two children. Given the fact that the number of thefts and burglaries were increasing in the city, the family wanted to have a watchdog which would be formidable, courageous and ferocious. However, even though this dog was named after one of the most brutal and formidable rulers in history, Attila the Hun, this dog didn't have any such features which would do justice to its name. This dog was actually a human one, which was meek and kind and it used to welcome strangers with uh, activities like lowering the body and uh, demanding a pat on the head. That was all the more reason to worry for the family because they thought that if this continues, there will be thieves in the house one day. And it so happened that Ranga, who happened to be a road mender and a gang coolie, broke into the house one night and escaped with all the valuables that he could lay his hands on. In fact, it so happened that Attila also followed him and left the house when he opened the gate. Now, as we've seen that the mother was always very cynical about having a dog like Attila in the first place who ate more like an elephant and was of no use absolutely. She was all the more worried and she was cursing her fate for having this dog in the first place. With this dog missing, she was all the more apprehensive. However, the younger son was very protective and defensive as always. And he said that, Mom, it could have probably been that Attila must have left on his own accord. So we can't blame him for that. And on a later occasion, it so happened that the elder son was going to the market and he suddenly saw Attila following a stranger. The son suspected that this stranger could have been that burglar who stole the valuables and the dog. So he started chasing them. And uh, Attila also started chasing Ranga. So that was Ranga. Ranga started running. The moment he saw, the moment he was alarmed that the man, I mean the eldest son was chasing him, he started running. He started fleeing. Attila ran for an entirely different reason. If you remember, Attila didn't chase the thief. Attila ran because he wanted to be close to the thief. He liked Ranga, but Ranga didn't like him. So he was running because he thought that Ranga must be in an attempt to forget Attila forever. So he was all the more possessive and he was running to catch hold of him. So they had different reasons to run okay, behind the thief. Later it so happened that the dog ran so fast that he overtook the thief and came in front. The thief stumbled and fell down. The eldest son caught up with them got him arrested, got the valuables back and Attila become a hero overnight. So that is how fate can be at times. Now we are going to discuss the question answers. The first question uh, which you will see in part A that is answer the questions. These are some short answer questions. What kind of a dog did the speaker's family want? So as you all know now, the speaker's family wanted an aggressive and ferocious dog. Okay, a ferocious watchdog to prevent the burglary attempts or the robbery attempts because you, we all know that by that time there, there was an increase in the number of thefts in the city. At the beginning was Attila able to match their expectations? The second question give reasons. Attila turned out to be a very timid and friendly dog as you all know. So throughout the day Attila entertained a lot of strangers like mendicants, uh, beggars, bill collectors, postmen, tradesmen and family friends to enter the house. He would reach out to everyone for love and this attribute was of great worry for the family. Why were the family members satisfied with the name Attila? Now this takes us back to history. 
The family members remembered that Attila the Hun was a very powerful and aggressive invader in history. He was a very courageous military leader. The family wanted the puppy to be named Attila because they thought that naming him Attila would make him lion-hearted. Now we use two advanced adjectives in English. Chicken-hearted, lion-hearted. Chicken-hearted is a person who is very, very scared about everything and apprehensive about trying new things in life. Lion-hearted person, as you can understand, as the word has it, it means somebody who is very, very courageous. Why did the family... Why did the family research about scourge of Europe? So this is your homework. You will have the answer on page two. That's the last paragraph, the opening page of the chapter. Fifth question, how did Attila respond to the entry of the strangers? So as you all know, there were a few things that he used to do whenever he used to meet strangers. He used to lower his head, curve his body, tuck his tail between the legs, roll his eyes and make a moaning sound as if to ask the stranger to pat him on his back and love him. What issues did the speaker's mother have with the dog? Now, once you look at the question answers, once they're uploaded in the portal, uh, you see, you're in class seven right now and you are only three years away from writing your board exams. So the answer format, which I have shared for this question, tallies with the board exam format. So instead of writing paragraphs in your answers, you can also write answers in bullets. So this answer has been drafted in bullet points. The speaker's mother had the following grievances. Issues means problems, grievances. So first one was Attila's welcoming the strangers. Second, Attila ate like an elephant. Attila slept a lot. And the most disturbing attitude where he used to welcome anyone into the house. Now that could have been a recipe for burglary and robbery. How did Attila react when Ranga entered the premises? Now, this is actually an information-based question. Uh, you will find the answer on page number four. So this is also your homework. The final question will have to be dealt in points because it's a very long answer question. How did Attila prove to be a hero? So the answer starts from that particular moment when the eldest son was on his way to the market. So it's a sequence of events. And I have started the first line as the sequence of events are as follows. First one. On one occasion, while the eldest son was on his way to the market, he saw Attila following a stranger. Second, the son suspected the stranger to be the thief who stole the dog and other valuables. So it continues. It continues. Once you read the answer, which I have uh, uh, written in, in the notes and the question answer sheet, you will find all these points there. You can just give it a read. And it so happened that Attila ran so fast that he overtook Ranga and stumbled and uh, sorry, blocked his path. Ranga stumbled and fell down. Later, the son caught up and got Ranga arrested. Attila became a hero. Now we have long answer questions, which starts in your part B. That's the answer to the questions with respect to the context. So uh, in these questions, you will get an extract from your story. Based on that, there will be few questions. First one, he gave no hope that he would do credit to his name. Who is he in this uh, sentence? It's of course uh, refers to the two month old puppy that's Attila. What's the significance of his name? Attila signifies three adjectives valor, courage, and grandeur. How did you know that he wouldn't do credit to his name? Okay, much in contrast to his name means exactly opposite to what the name suggests. Attila turned out to be a benign and harmless dog. Without any aggressive aggressiveness or ferociousness, he had no signs of courage as a watchdog. The second question is another context-based question. The people at home didn't like this attitude very much. Okay, They thought it rather to be a shame. Whose attitude is the speaker talking about? Obviously, it's the dog's attitude. What was so wrong with that attitude? At a time where the city was witnessing a steep rise in the number of thefts, Attila's attitude was considerate and friendly towards all sorts of strangers. So that was never welcome. So remember, friends, remember, children, whenever you start writing an answer, don't just start writing an answer directly. Draw a context as a background. So here I could have started. What was wrong with the attitude of the dog? So I could have written Attila was very considerate and friendly, right? But th that is directly getting into the question. But CBSC wants you to give a little backdrop. So I start at a time with some information. At a time where the city was witnessing a steep rise in the number of thefts, Attila's attitude. That is how you frame your answers. What were the expectations? The family expected the dog to be very aggressive, 
courageous and formidable. Formidable means somebody who's got a lot of strength. Third question and the last question, the young man was extremely irritated at this uh, and he considered dot 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 most uncharitable cynicism. So when you talk about cynical attitude, we talk about the attitude of a person who suspects everyone and cannot trust. So who was the young man? The young man, the man who was extremely irritated was the young boy, right? And he was irritated on his mother. Why was he irritated? The younger son was irritated at his mother's sarcastic remarks about Attila. Now, if the dog is left open, he would invite thieves to the compound, right? So the young son, the younger son was actually very protective about Attila. And he always used to convince his mother that a day would come when Attila would actually turn out to show his true colors. However, until then, we need to be patient. So that is why when his mother used to comment sarcastically, he was always very irritated. What's the meaning of this word uncharitable cynicism? Cynicism you already know. So it's basically an attribute of a person which is more of a negative attribute. It does happen to people, you know, when they cannot trust anyone based on sad experiences in their lives. That's called cynical attitude. So uncharitable cynicism is a cynicism which has got no limits and it keeps on pouring whenever there is an opportunity. So whenever we suspect someone without any obvious reasons, it's, it's called uncharitable cynicism. So my dear children, we are done with the question answers. Uh, the grammar part will be dealt uh, by your English grammar faculty. But do read, do read and keep practicing. Okay, so these notes and the mind map and the question answers which all be shared with you in your portal very shortly. Until then, bye-bye. Take care.